My name is Charlie Shea, and I'm a local guide from New York City. My name is J.R. Curley, and I'm a local guide from Los Angeles. I've never met Charlie. I have not met JR before. Charlie! He looks like a pretty cool dude, so I think we're gonna have a lot of fun exploring the city. I hope his energy is gonna be able to keep up. <laughs> I've never been shown around by someone who knows New York, like the heart of New York, so this should be really exciting. Nice to meet you, man. How's, How's it going? Man? Come on welcome, here. welcome. Thank you very much. I'm hoping to see a little bit of history of New York. I want to show them that there's more than just Statue of Liberty. There's more than just Times Square. There's more than just Central Park. I really want to show that there's a different side of New York City that you might not have heard of. You dressed a lot warmer than I did. I was not yes. prepared. Oh. <laughs> That's not what you have? I'm not used to this. I'm from LA. <laughs> So uh, we're going to the Chelsea Market okay. and the Highland Park first. Excellent, great, looking right? forward. Yeah. So, let it go. go. There's a seafood shop that we're going to go to. Okay. I love like the low ceilings, like it really feels yeah. old. This is this a place? Yeah, so this is a seafood place. I call it a lobster place. It's like one stop uh, seafood shop. Look at the size of these. Yeah, take a prom, look at that. From Nigeria. I try not to come too often because it might break my bank. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we have the lobster, we have the shrimp, and I believe it's the crab. Oh, they're, they're warm. It's warm. They're yeah. toasted. They're, they're, toasted, they're toasted bun. Nobody likes a soggy cold bun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so good. This is so good. It's really fresh. That's one thing I like about yeah. it. That was a lot of fun. Thanks for showing that to me. I a lot of history and food is great. I hope you enjoyed it. So what's next? So this is the Chelsea Market and right above us, this is the Highline Park. Oh. So we're going to the Highline Park to check out the former railway that's turned into a park. Very now. cool. Yes. So this park just opened in 2009. In 1999, 2000, the neighborhood kind of former association trying to preserve the, uh, the railway and turn it into a park. As you can see, there's a lot of yeah, tourists here now. It's very busy. Yeah, in just in a few short years, this is becoming one of the most popular spots. Even though it's popular with tourists, a lot of locals also like to spend time here. This is one of the most unique parks I've ever been to. And they did a really good job of preserving the old and then giving this kind of new activity, new area for people to go yeah. and enjoy the city a little bit more. So there's a bunch of amazing things on, on the High Line, but I think my favorite part was where the concrete ended and it turned into just grass, overgrown grass, and there was the, the, the actual train tracks and the trestles were there, and it kind of just went off into the side of a building. Again, there's all these people around, but you can lose yourself in yes. what's there and the beauty that it has. Yep. Oh, Zenish. Zenish. <laughs> to Women's Burger. It's one of my favorite burger joints in Manhattan. And I'm taking it. And... Welcome to New York. <laughs> Welcome to New York, yes. It's a New York symphony. <laughs> you got your exercise out. Yeah. I think we're gonna try the uh, Juicy Lucy and then we'll try the PB&B. That's Juicy Lucy. So there's cheese inside there? Cheese inside, Melted yes. Melted cheese. Yes. That's going to explode in my mouth. <laughs> yes, it will explode in your mouth, yes. You ready? Ready, let's go for it. Here we go. Juicy Lucy. The burger that squirts in your mouth. It's squirting already. <laughs> <laughs> it's already squirting. <laughs> it's a... Uh, That's really good. It's really good, right? It really squirted in my mouth. <laughs> There are these little small places that are totally hidden away. Yes. I mean, you could walk by this and never know it's here, or you would glance at it and just keep walking doing your day-to-day -day business. And, and that's the beauty of having Charlie as a local guide, being able to show me these things that I would have never known. What Charlie showed me when I was here, I, I can't imagine are easily findable on a tourist map or part of the everyday life that people would experience here. That's the beauty, I think, of local guides. Upstairs Museum, Francis Tavern. 
we have a lot of museums in New York. If you want to experience New York City, this is kind of a place where you can really experience the history of New York. This location has been here since pre-Revolutionary War. Wow, right. so there's flags everywhere. Yes, yeah, so on this side of the wall is basically the evolution of American flags. Oh, yeah. Here we are at the Lone Room. Uh, this is obviously where people used to dine, drinks, and this is also the spot that George Washington announced his retirement. Learning about Washington actually standing there addressing his generals, I think that kind of hit a chord. It's almost a little bit spooky because it's not just history, it's like it's uber powerful history yeah. where the shifts in our nation were happening here. Mm -hmm. What do you think of the museum slash restaurant slash tavern? Impressive. Super impressive. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, man. Cheers. Here is the backroom speakeasy lounge. Wait, Where are we going? We're going to the backroom speakeasy lounge. This looks like a dark alley. You won't get shot, don't worry. Okay. <clears throat> go ahead, you can yeah, go first. I'll be behind you. I got your back. I trust you. The speakeasy bar kind of date back to the 20s, Prohibition era. <laughs> we're drinking is our lot. Wait, where am I? I'm, I'm, you actually, are you sure we're going to a place that's actually a bar? Actually, Almost like a different world. There was a beautiful bar inside, there was live music playing. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to the tea. Yeah. It's not just a place that's been built off of ideas, it's built off of real life events that actually transpired here. One thing I hope uh, that will stick with JR is just the rich culture and history that we have here in New York. Charlie has more knowledge about New York than anyone I know. Charlie, back room, Yes. speakeasy, insane drinks, amazing atmosphere. Music? Yeah, I mean, what a great way to end the night. Charlie definitely adds something special to New York. Cheers. Cheers. Welcome to New York. Thank Hope you, you enjoyed it. Friendly.